Okay, so today we're going to be looking at one of the most overpowered, probably the most overpowered early base in the Island Defense game in version 4.12f. So today I'm going to show you guys how to build it and why it's completely overpowered. So um, what we're going to be talking about today is Heaven, and we're going to be early basing here. And the reason uh, what makes this early base so overpowered is because of the workers that are going to be unnukable here. And I'm going to show you guys where to place them and how to build it. Uh, one of the big things about early basing is that when you early base, you got a guaranteed safe spot. You have a spot that's going to be, you're going to be lumbering uninterrupted or mostly uninterrupted as most tenants can't really break your early base. So they're going to be going for the lumber base instead where they're just walls. But because your, yours is going to be hiding behind uh, towers and walls, he's less likely to go to your early base. Um, there are a couple drawbacks to early basing, however, as you are kind of risking it when you're making it super early as you don't know where he is. He might scout you right away. And if he gets you right away, you're going to be feeding a hell of a lot and really messing it up for everybody else. But if you get off to early base and nobody really dies or feeds, then you're going to be going pretty well. You're going to be lumbering super efficiently. And it's also a big bonus because um, everyone's going to be able to put their arcs or ROCs in their base without really feeding the Titan as much. So you get that bonus as well. So you're going to be lumber. Yeah, you're going to have a little bit less workers, but you're going to be lumbering a lot more efficiently and uninterrupted. So those are the big points here. Um, so those are the big things about making early base. And so for the most, uh, the most, what I think is the most overpowered early base, which is heaven. I'm going to show you guys how to set this up. There is going to be another video coming up right after this, where I'm going to show you the second most overpowered um, early base. Now, keep in mind for heaven. Um, it is a water base, and what a water base is is uh, the entrance of it, or what's surrounded by, is water. So you do have to be careful when you, cause, because when you early base, you're going to be basing before Titan picks. So if Titan picks Lucy, the water Titan. He gets a huge buff when he's standing in water or just coming right out of water, where he can pretty much two shot your walls. So you do got to be mindful of it. You do have to be able to tell yourself, hey, if it's Lucy, I'm going to have to dip my base, so don't screw up the game. Um, so let's get started here. So what makes this uh, heaven base so overpowered as an early base is not this lumber section over here, but it's actually these trees right here, these three trees. These three trees are insanely broken. So this is how we're going to set it up. So the first thing you're going to do, you can come in here and start building your fruits. You're going to want to pre-lumber before you get up here. So uh, And uh, make sure you guys subscribe so you guys don't miss the video on that. But we're going to get our fruit tree set up here. So then we have 150 food. And this is where the OP lumber base is actually at. So a lot of people like to make the lumber base right over here. Like such. The problem with this this lumber base is the Titan can just walk down this alley in the on the side here and just nuke it. No. So that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna utilize these trees. So we're gonna surround them with shelters, like such. And I'm going to be leaving a gap all the way around. So you can see there's a gap coming all the way around. And we're going to build one more shelter over here. And normally over here you would put your RC. You want to put as tight as you can to these shelters. Now, there's a couple ways to do it. The first way is you can just pop a shelter. And you can teleport out. Because of the elevation, you're always going to pop out on the left-hand side. The other way is you can fill it with creeps. So let me show you guys how to do that real quick. You can fill it with creeps like such. We're gonna stop making our workers so we can get some of these. So you can make it so there's not there's gonna be no more room, so then you're forcing your character to pop out to the next available elevation point, which is gonna be outside the base. So we're just gonna make sure that it's super tight. Okay, like such, and we're gonna put RC, and as you can see, my worker popped out from the outside because that's the closest elevation point so that's how you get extremely tight everybody always needs a gap there um but if you're going to min max and you're going to play as efficiently as you can you want to fill up those gaps you want to make sure that you're using the space as efficiently as you can okay so coming back to this point to where we were originally the whole point of this broken lumber base so instead of making all your workers here you're going to be making them a harvesting around these trees. So I'm going to go right here. I'm going to highlight these shelters. We're rallying to one tree. 
and we're gonna start making the workers. It's gonna be a little bit messy in the beginning, but that's all right. We're just gonna detonate the ones that are kind of not in the right spot. And it might help if I actually use uh, these two back shelters actually instead, because they keep popping out. There you go. Now we got them going. So, now this is going to be a little painstaking because you want to utilize all the species as much as you can. So we're going to manually move our workers. So you can fit three down below. You can hit four on the uh, left hand side here, as you can see. So we want them to be as close as you can. And right here, we can fit a few more as well. So we're going to build a couple more workers. There we go. And to ensure this part, uh, to ensure the worker doesn't run out by mistake, we're going to put a shelter here as well to block his path. I'm going to pull these workers as far left as we can. Again, we're going, we want to utilize as much space as we can. This guy's not doing anything. And there we have it. This is the broken lumber base. As you can see, I'm using 96 food. 96 uh 150 harvesting these damn trees oops this guy doesn't count 90 food now what you can also do actually to make it uh as to maximize it is you can use this shelter over here to harvest the corals you can make actually three workers and again we want them to be as far left as we can you know let's just shove my worker here like such we can detonate him after there you go so we got these three make them as far right as we can now watch if i bring mr titan over here and he tries to nuke it's gonna be unnukeable even this farthest one right over here he can't nuke it it's not possible and this these ones are too far he can't even reach them. So you gotta be mindful. So this works for most Titans. So it works for like Mole, it works for um, Demo, um, but there's some uh, Titans that have um, AOE nukes and that have actually farther range. So you gotta be careful of Glack, you have to be careful of Nox, but most other Titans, the ones that people like to go for, because most people ban Nox, most people ban Bub. They're a little bit harder to play, they don't like their nukes. But those are one of the few nukes that can actually reach. So uh, most people, you'll you'll most likely end up versing a Demo, a you know Lucy, any target nuke nuke Titans. Those are the what the majority of players play. And as you can see, I have 108 food, 108 unnukeable food. And from here, you can start building out your your base. So you always want to build a couple walls in the front. These are going to be your most effective walls when you're early base. You always want to get them upgraded. And usually for myself, I like to build probably about 18 towers. So I like to build it as such. And as you play more, you're going to get used to the layout of the base. So I already know where my towers are going to go. And I'm leaving that space. So this space right here is where all my walls are going to go. So I usually build about 18 towers um, like such. Maybe like one over here, a couple over here. Now, the thing with the space you have to remember is the right side of the base is where the Titan is going to go because you can't swing left. And Titans don't normally go straight down the middle because where the most DPS is. So he's going to want to go right. That's, which is why there's more towers on the right than there is going to be on the left when we start. So you want to focus on that. So you can see, as you can see, we're using 128 food. We're only missing, what, maybe two workers? And we're harvesting super efficiently. And then what you can do is just make a couple workers here. We're missing three workers. So we're missing four towers, actually. So we can just build a couple more for Job even done. more damage. Job done. Job done. Now you have a base that's unbreakable early on and virtually unnukeable. You only have to worry about these three workers. And what you can do as well is what makes this base super well unlike the other ones, is, is how easy it is to block off the back alley. So you can actually do it in two separate points. So you can do it over here, like an angle. This will be a little bit early warning system. Or you can do it right here. The lane that goes into the water here with the two walls. So both are two walls. So no matter what Titan does, you can't nuke them. 
Um, and the reason why I, I would still recommend, even though you can make it so it's not nuke proof, I would still recommend that you build this OP Lumber base because of the, uh, actually, you know what I just realized? I think I'm able to squeeze a worker here. I didn't fill it up. One moment. Let's, uh... See, this is why you gotta move all your workers manually. You gotta get them as close as you can. You gotta maximize the space. Oh, this guy can't move lumber. So, no, we, we got as much as we can. Um, so the reason why I would still recommend this lumber base is because even if Titan decides to break these walls, let's just say, hey, I'm gonna break these walls and I'm gonna come lum uh, hit your lumber base. All you have to do is get these three and he cannot nuke the rest. You could, you're gonna be still lumbering super efficiently and uninterrupted. And as you can see, unlike a typical lumber base where uh, you're gonna have one shelter, um, well, you don't have to worry. They don't have to walk as much because they're right next to the shelter here. So they're, they're harvesting as fast and as efficiently as they could. Um, and that's what makes the space super, super, super strong. Not only that, the base is super far from mound. So Titan, if he sieges it, he can't just quickly run to mound, heal, and come back. He has to run across the entire map just to get to your lumber base or to your base. So there we have it. That's how you uh, make an overpowered early base up at heaven. Hope you enjoy this. Catch you next one. Peace out.